Hello, I'm Mike Clark. My journey with obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, has been both challenging and enlightening. For a quarter of a century, OCD was a constant companion in my life, presenting obstacles that seemed insurmountable. Yet, here I am today, a testament to the possibility of overcoming this condition, celebrating over five years of liberation from its grips. My experiences have not only provided me with a profound understanding of OCD, but also allowed me to delve deeply into various treatment modalities. In this exploration, I've discovered the impactful role of medication in managing OCD symptoms and, more importantly, the potential of alternative healing methods. It is this amalgamation of knowledge and personal triumph over OCD that I am eager to share with you, offering insights and guidance on navigating this condition beyond conventional medication. Understanding OCD and its symptoms. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, OCD, is more than just a set of quirks or habits. It's a complex mental health condition characterized by a persistent cycle of obsessions and compulsions. These obsessions are unwanted, intrusive thoughts, images, or urges that trigger intensely distressing feelings. To alleviate this discomfort, individuals with OCD engage in compulsions, repetitive behaviors, or mental acts often driven by a need to perform them in response to an obsession. The symptoms of OCD can manifest in various forms, ranging from excessive cleanliness and orderliness to relentless doubt and the need for constant reassurance. What's crucial to understand is that these symptoms stem from underlying anxiety. The mind, in its attempt to find relief or control over this anxiety, falls into a repetitive loop of obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviors. This cycle is not reflective of one's true essence or inner self. Instead, it's a learned response from the mind, a pattern that, while challenging, can be understood, managed, and ultimately overcome. Recognizing that these symptoms are a product of the mind's response to anxiety is the first step in detangling the complexities of OCD. It's about understanding that while these thoughts and behaviors might feel overwhelming, they don't define our true selves. Our essence remains untouched by this turmoil, offering a stable ground from which we can address and heal these patterns. The Role of Anxiety in OCD Understanding the role of anxiety in obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, is pivotal. Anxiety, at its core, is a learned response, a reaction of the mind to perceived threats and uncertainties. It acts as the fuel for the engine of OCD, driving the cycle of obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviors. This cycle often begins as a mental strategy to manage or suppress the discomfort of anxiety, but over time, it becomes a self-sustaining loop that seems almost inescapable. This anxiety is not just a passing emotion, but a deeply ingrained mental habit. It arises from a heightened state of alertness, where the mind becomes overly sensitive to potential risks and starts creating a series of what-if scenarios. These scenarios then trigger the obsessive thoughts, leading to the compulsive behaviors in an attempt to alleviate the perceived threat or discomfort. However, it's essential to recognize that this anxiety, and by extension OCD, are not intrinsic parts of our being. They are conditions of the mind, separate from our true essence, which remains undisturbed and serene despite the mental chaos. Our true self, or inner essence, is inherently peaceful, unaltered by the fluctuating states of the mind. By understanding that anxiety is a learned response of the mind and not a characteristic of our true self, we open the door to managing and controlling it. Recognizing this separation allows us to address OCD not as a definitive part of who we are, but as a condition that we have the power to influence and change. This realization is the first step towards mastering our minds and freeing ourselves from the grip of OCD. The Misconception About OCD Medication Addressing the role of medication in treating obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, often brings us to a common misconception that medication is an indispensable part of the recovery process. While it's true that medication can play a significant role in managing severe symptoms, particularly in cases where anxiety is overwhelming, it's not the only path to recovery. My personal experience with OCD stands as evidence of this. For 25 years, OCD was a constant presence in my life, but I managed to overcome it without relying on medication. This success was achieved through a combination of strict adherence to specific techniques and a deep understanding of the nature of OCD. These methods focused on mastering the mind and acknowledging the distinction between our mental anxieties and our true essence. It's important to note that medications such as sertraline can provide immediate relief by alleviating some of the acute symptoms of OCD, making it easier for individuals to engage with therapeutic strategies. 
However, it should not be seen as a long-term solution or a standalone treatment. The key to lasting recovery lies in understanding and addressing the root causes of OCD, which are often tied to learned anxiety patterns rather than just silencing the symptoms. In instances where an individual's anxiety is too high to allow for effective engagement with these techniques, medication might be considered as an initial step. However, the ultimate goal should always be to equip the individual with the tools and understanding necessary to manage their condition independently. By focusing on methods that empower individuals to take control of their minds and understand their true essence, it is entirely possible to overcome OCD without the need for medication. Alternative Healing Controlling the Mind Overcoming Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, OCD, fundamentally requires a shift in how we perceive and interact with our minds. The realization that our true essence, our inner self or divine soul, is distinct and unaffected by the turmoil of OCD is pivotal in this journey. Our minds, often caught in the whirlwind of compulsive thoughts and behaviors, do not define our true selves. By mastering the mind, rather than being dominated by it, we can liberate ourselves from the clutches of OCD. This process of healing and recovery involves several key steps. Firstly, practicing mindful awareness is essential. It allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without getting entangled in them. Mindfulness teaches us to recognize our thoughts as mere mental events rather than absolute truths or commands that must be obeyed. Secondly, understanding the nature of our thoughts is crucial. Many of the thoughts that fuel OCD are rooted in deep-seated anxieties and fears. By understanding this, we can begin to detach from these thoughts, recognizing them as products of our mind's learned patterns rather than reflections of our true essence. Finally, consciously choosing not to react to compulsive urges is a powerful step towards regaining control. Each time we resist the urge to engage in a compulsive behavior, we weaken OCD's influence. This act of resistance is not just a momentary choice, it's a profound statement of self-mastery and an affirmation of our true essence's power over the mind. Through these practices, we can achieve a state of balance where our mind is a tool we use, rather than a force that controls us. This approach to healing emphasizes the power of inner strength and the capacity for self-liberation, offering a path to freedom that transcends the need for medication. It's a journey of reclaiming our lives from OCD, grounded in the understanding and mastery of our own minds. When medication may be helpful. In the journey towards overcoming OCD, there are situations where an individual's level of anxiety might be so intense that it becomes a significant barrier to applying the techniques for controlling the mind effectively. In these instances, medication can serve as a valuable tool in managing symptoms, providing the mental clarity and calm needed to engage fully with healing practices. Sertraline, a medication often prescribed for OCD and anxiety, is notable for its effectiveness in reducing the intensity of obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviors. Its appeal lies in its relatively minimal side effects compared to other medications, making it a preferred choice for many individuals dealing with OCD. It's important to acknowledge that medication is not a one-size-fits-all solution and should be considered as part of a comprehensive treatment plan. Consulting with a healthcare professional is essential before starting any medication. A doctor can provide a thorough evaluation and determine whether a medication like sertraline is appropriate for your specific situation. The decision to use medication should be based on a careful consideration of individual needs and circumstances. It's crucial to remember that medication is intended to be a supportive measure, not a standalone solution. The ultimate goal is to develop strategies and practices that enable long-term management and control of OCD symptoms with or without medication. In summary, while natural and mindful techniques form the core of OCD management, Medication like sertraline can play a supportive role in cases where anxiety levels are prohibitively high. It can offer a level of stability that allows individuals to engage more effectively with the practices and strategies that lead to lasting change and recovery. In conclusion, in my journey of overcoming OCD, I have learned that while medication can be a part of the treatment, it's not the only path to recovery. Understanding and controlling our mind, aligning with our true essence, and not reacting to OCD's demands are the keys to curing this condition. For those who find the journey challenging, medication like sertraline under a doctor's supervision can offer support. Remember, overcoming OCD is a journey of self-discovery and mastery over the mind. 
For more insights and detailed strategies, I invite you to visit my YouTube channel, Mindful Journey to Joy. Explore my blog at curocd.org and discover comprehensive courses at mindfuljourneytojoy.com.